So ladies and gentlemen, today is 202 October 7th, right? So we just uh, have a uh, uh, celebrate China's 51st, sorry, 71st birthday, okay, which is a China's nation, national day, national days. And uh, I'm just being back from Inner Mongolia, now I'm uh, back to Shanghai. So yeah, <clears throat> it's good to start a webinar uh, for the markets for this week, right? Okay, so first of all, let's check the dollar index. Okay, the dollar index has been uh, sideways for quite a few time, okay, since this breakout happens and it's kicking sideways. Okay, a little bit pullback happened, but now the price back to 94 to 92 level, okay? So basically we can still treat this as a range trading, okay? So the range is here. Then we have to uh, mark this uh, trend line, right? You can see the trend line was uh, pretty good uh, <coughs> reactions with this uh, price, okay? This one. And the second touch and third touch, okay? So this trend line has been a, a very strong resistance line for this uh, dollar index. And now the price has been uh, uh, rejected from this level back to this ring trading okay so since this is ring trading so we can uh, apply this uh, buy low and sell high method uh, you can you can use you can make use of this uh, previous pivot at uh, 94.60 okay uh, try to sell the dollars from this level okay or you can do to use this uh, previous support from here 92 level okay so we, you can consider to trade both directions. Uh, I feel that before the before the USA uh, election, uh, the dollar index won't have much move because there are still some time for these uh, things to uh, consolidate. And you can check the timing is about uh, November 17th. It will actually be out of the triangle, okay? So we can uh, find this uh, direction move of this dollar index to trade either uh, sell high or, or by the low, and there's another opportunity that we can find is uh, below 91.77, the dollar index will be going to 89 level, okay? So here, hence we can <clears throat> have uh, four plans for this trade, okay? It's either sell high or the buy the low, and more importantly, okay, if the low was uh, creating lower low here, okay? Then we're going to sell at this point, sell the breakout and pullback. Okay, sell the breakout and pullback at 84.89. And uh, there's a very limited chance for the dollar index to break up. Uh, if by then the it should actually be some good news for the for the USA, it may become something. <clears throat> the chart may become something like this. Okay, second test of the low, but it cannot break the new low, and then dollar index moves up. Okay, so there are actually one, two, three, four, four movement. Okay, there's no sound. No, uh, there is sound. Yeah, definitely, there is sound. So you just need to click. Uh, turn on your turn on your headphones. Okay. Anyone? You can hear me, right? If you can hear me, yeah, <clears throat> just uh, give me one. Thank you. Sure. That's very good. Yeah. All right. So just to get ready for these four opportunities of dollar index that will be actually focusing on this range trading from 92 to 94. If 92 was broken, you can take a sell to get this much. Okay. If the 95 was uh, broken out, then you need to find the catch to uh, to get the boom. Okay, but I personally I will I will, I will choose this one. Okay, because dollar index from weekly chart of view uh, is still being very bearish. Okay, yeah, and uh, after consolidation, it will actually create a lower low. Yeah, just like something uh, happened before here. Okay, a strong down four pull back and then break new low, right? So here is having the same thing, strong downtrend, pull back and, and lower low. 
All right. Okay. And if you remember, in last week, uh, in last week we have the non-farm payroll day. Okay. Uh, which actually we took a sell of the gold in the higher range here. Okay. Uh, and the non-farm payroll really doesn't do any uh, good job. Okay. It actually breaks uh, this place, and we capture some some bearish movement. Okay. To this area, and then we actually took a buy and aim one nine twenty. Okay. Now what we can see is from daily chart, uh, the gold has been still in a big triangle, okay? It's still in a big triangle. So, and you can see this uh, triangle was also uh, being squeezed uh, and trying to break out soon, right? So now we can uh, make use of this uh, demand zone here from 1860, okay? And for our charts, uh, I already published in trading view that I said this place could be a very good place to buy the gold because uh, the 618 was just uh, nicely touched. And if you, if you check the price action, okay, we can see this very strong leg in and a two base line here and a strong move out. And now it's far where there's uh, our inside bar, okay. So if you if you want to trade the inside bar, personally, I would feel, yeah, I will go for it. I will only <clears throat> took the upside of the inside bar to so try to get the upside move to 1909 first. And then after a big triangle was broken, it actually will move to 120 and 1951. Uh, okay, so do remember that 1951 could be this uh, target of our bulls directions here. Okay, uh, if the gold really can goes up, I think it will be easily hitting this target. So it's all your job to find out uh, how to capture this movement. Okay, you can use any method that I teach. You can use a uh, uh, neckline, okay? This is a neckline, right? Then if you check the double bottom was created, okay? This is a double bottom, right? And you can use a 2618 master to buy from the 618. It's also highly possible, okay? And you can go or inside bar breaks up, whatever, okay? Or maybe a ping bar here, okay? Yeah, if there's a ping bar testing the 618 again, yeah, it's all bullish signal that you could actually follow to uh, move the market all the way to 1950. Okay, that would be very nice work for you guys to capture the ups, upside move of the <clears throat> gold because now we know that the Trump has some problem with the coronavirus. Uh, we don't know how how could he uh, been, you know uh, recovered from this disease. And I think uh, there will be some uncertainty uh, for the markets to guess. Of the directions or of the possibilities which which one will go for the next president of the USA. So the market will have some uncertain uh, worries and which actually will be um, a good sign for the gold, right? <clears throat> okay, let's move to Euro dollar. Uh, Euro has been supporting well from 1.1620 and I said uh, this could play, uh, be a very nice job to buy the Euro, uh, which I mentioned last week uh, in my Chinese webinar. And I said this channel was broken and we should actually find our way to buy. Okay, as you, as you can see, it actually rallies very well to 1.18, hit our first target. And daily chart, <coughs> uh, the euro is still sideways. Okay, personally, I, would, I won't actually treat this as a uh, uh, head patterns or topping formations because uh, this is just a, a strong, still a strong move. And with a pullback and another move is coming, we don't know where where it, it will end of this second second rally. Uh, but we actually checked, being following this uh, price action, that if the price action still shows bullish momentum, and uh, a higher high was still created and a higher low was created, the euro may just uh, going up one step by one step and then go back to 1.20. Okay, so weekly chart, yeah, <coughs> this is actually a correction move after a strong rally since this March, right? Okay, and if, if you count the candles, uh, let me just uh, share some timing uh, method for you guys, okay? So you can measure, you can, you, can, you can measure from here to here, there's uh, seven bars, right? Seven bars of this uh, last consolidation. And from here to here, it's also about seven bars, okay? So basically, uh, it just tells you if the euro will can break 1.20, and I think uh, another another value will be still going okay, to 1.22 or 1.24. Okay, 
So just be patient for this movement, uh, be patient for this uh, breakout. And now the good thing, good, the good news is uh, the euro has already finding the pivot of the uh, 1.16 trend. Yeah, so this is a strong support that you should have been uh, followed. You can make use of this uh, support. Trying to buy by the low, okay, you can use the 618 or you can use uh, any price actions around here to capture the second wave. Okay, that would be very uh, good job for you guys. Okay, the euro. Okay, we are bullish to 1.19, 1.20, and 1.24. Okay, for the sterling, sterling is a little bit uh, uh, bearish, but it's still uh, it's a sideways market. Okay, the neckline potential neckline is about 1.30. The potential support is from 1.27. Okay. Uh, I will rather wait for the price to come back to this low, okay, to get this uh, third <coughs> touch of this uh, support, which could be formed this uh, head and shoulder patterns, okay? So this left shoulder is here, uh, and the head is here, okay? And the uh, right shoulder is, on, is uh, on the way, okay? I will wait for this uh, head and shoulder uh, pattern to complete, and uh, I will choose to buy the sterling if the neckline was broken up 1.30 and I will shift to, uh, the price will go back to 1.33. So there are about, there are about 300 pips. Yeah, there are about 300 pips for the sterling movement. Okay, just to make use of the 1.30, this level. Okay, you mark the line here. If the price can break up here, okay, you can find any pullback or any you know, trading opportunities to buy and aim 1.33. I think these uh, 300 pips will be uh, easily uh, money for you guys, right? <coughs> uh, the Bitcoin, okay, find support from 9,600. The daily chart of the, uh, let me just choose some of the, some of the yeah, okay, yeah. So this is a Bitcoin and it have support from the 10K level and sideways ongoing, okay? Higher lows and the higher highs. Oh, sorry, lower highs and the higher lows, okay? So the market has been sideways again, okay? And we just wait for the breakout. Uh, it will actually break out to 10, 10, 12K or 13K if the 10K level was supported well, right? It will still follow the momentum of the pre previous one, okay? From uh, the rally from 4K is not ended. Okay, so upside move. Okay, sideway, another upside move. Okay, sideway and another side move. Okay, and this could be the third move of this uh, entire rally and maybe go back to, yeah, 12K or 14K. Yeah, that's what I feel. Right. <coughs> For the dollar Canadian, uh, yeah, sideways. So I won't trade dollar Canadian at this time because I will rather have to trade the oil market instead of the dollar Canadian. Okay, but the key <coughs> resistance was at uh, 1.34. Key support at uh, 1.30. So you can use this uh, range to for you guys to keep some, you know, up the, up and downs, up and downs, right? And before it moves out. Uh, let me just highlight out the oil. Okay, the oil has uh, been followed uh, from this uh, Bad pattern and it reversed very well from 36.50 in the north on the non farm payroll day, which I uh, tell you guys to learn it. Okay, yeah, if you join my non farm payroll webinar uh, on last Friday, yeah, you should actually capture this uh, 36.60 longs. And I said we we'll go back to 40 level, and this is a 400 pips that we have already captured. Now, the second chance is coming. Okay, so the first move to the 618 percent and the we are waiting for a pullback to about 39 level to buy again and shoots to 42. Okay, try to capture this move, okay, of the oil's next rally. It will be uh, very fruitful, okay? So wait for the price to come back to about 39, 39 or 38.90. Make use of the structure here, okay? And you can also use the Fibonacci level. Uh, let me just hide my <coughs> measures for you. Yeah, it's about a 30, 50%, okay, 38.72. Could be a very good potential zone for you guys to buy the oil, right? <coughs> um, there are some Asia pairs, okay, dollar yen, okay. Dollar yen has uh, uh, a 
So I'm ready today, okay, it feels strange. Yeah, so the dollar moves up, okay, but the dollar index didn't move. So some, maybe some problem with the uh, yen, okay. So I think the dollar yen has been found support from 104. This, this place still uh, acting as support, okay, although it was uh, penetrated a little bit, okay. And after non-farm period day, it retests and now it's pulling up to the new high, okay. Uh, for the dollar yen, I would rather to buy the low, okay. I will wait for the price to come back to maybe 6 or 8% to buy the low, it's about a 104.82, okay, yeah. And for the audience, please uh, kindly switch off your camera, okay, I'm pretty sure you don't want other people to see your face, yeah, okay, you don't need to show your face because this is not a, you know, we're not a, yeah. Okay, so just a measure the dollar yen's move, okay, from this swing low to swing high, and make sure you buy the correct level, which is 104.80. And I will mark our up, up arrow here. Okay, try to buy from 104.80 if the marks do give to you this. And you can aim for 107, okay? Uh, because this, this place has been tested for once, okay? And I think this uh, supply zone, the quality is not very good. So which actually implies the price may break out this 106.50. Uh, so you can either wait for pullback to buy or you can wait for the breakout and a pullback to buy, okay? Maybe something like this. Okay. Yeah. So put an eye on uh, the dollar yen. 106.50 will be our, our key level for you guys to watch the dollar yen if you want to capture the upside move. Okay. Okay. Aussie dollar, you can buy now. Okay. Because I think Aussie has been uh, retesting the previous uh, demand zone here from 1.0.7023. Okay, so this acting as uh, origin of the upside move of here, which is a rally based rally, and the support was coming here. Okay, now the price just uh, pulls back to 618 as well. Okay, yep, so maybe 0 0.7084 will be a good level to buy the Aussie. Uh, in the up long term of view, it's still kind of uh, in the upside room. Okay, our uh, weekly chart, yeah, weekly charts, some. A minor resistance here. This is a minor resistance. So after several touch, we actually eventually break this level. Okay, you'd have to move it in this way. Okay, so after two or three touch, the 0.74 will be broken and the price will go back to 0 0.80. Yeah. Okay, welcome, welcome Wu Jia Jia to join our room. <clears throat> okay, for the TV dollar, will be the same. All right, TV is still in the uptrend channel here. Okay, it's still in the uptrend channel. A little bit of pullback, but it actually didn't really create, uh, create a lower low. So all you need to do to is to watch the 0.65 level. Uh, yeah, this place has been become very very strong support. Of Kiwi, okay, so we can buy the Kiwi, yeah, around this level to enjoy the gain of 2.68. For the sterling yen, uh, will be stronger than sterling dollar because dollar yen is moving up, but the sterling is not moving. However, the uh, sterling yen in the weekly chart, uh, we need to pull out this trend line and this trend line, okay is actually forming a triangle again, okay? So a big move will be another strong rally, break to 142.50, and we will highlight to another new high, okay? It has to break this zone, okay? Before that, uh, just a buy, low, buy the low and a sell the high. Don't expect any big movement for the sterling yen, because uh, yeah, the price is, uh, coming back to very low at 133 and now shift to 137. Okay, but still in the weekly triangle squeezing patterns, okay? Um, big movement will be uh, when the price moving breakouts 142.79, okay? <clears throat> but definitely you can find some one hour chart opportunities for a certain yen, okay? For example, uh, if you, if you, are, if you are familiar with this kind of uh, 
patterns, right? Yeah, this is actually a kind of a, what do we call our Libra patterns here, okay? Yeah, okay, you can buy from 133.50 and you can earn to 137, right? So this cross pair, uh, the volatility is very high just to, yeah, take care of this uh, pair's uh, properties because you don't want to risk too much money on this pair. It actually will be easily move uh, like 400 pips in one day or maybe 1,000 1, pips in a week, okay? So starting yen, I will still remember uh, move Wait for the price to come back to testing this 134 level. Yeah, I will consider to buy the second try and then choose up to 140. All right, uh, if you have any question or any products, you can actually uh, raise your hand and tell me. Yeah, I can do you a favor to examine, yeah, what, what is your training plan with these uh, pairs, okay? SMP, yeah, sure. Uh, for the SMP, uh, the huge move since March to September, I think, uh, was ended. Okay, the half year's growth of the entire SMP. Okay, the price just breaks the channel. Yeah, it breaks down the channel, and now it's uh, trying to have another rally. Looks like it does. Okay. So we have to measure this uh, long-term upside channel was broken. And I think I will choose to find any bearish patterns for the S&P to sell uh, because I think with the coronavirus situation, uh, it's actually the, the, the economy of the USA will be affected definitely. Uh, although the dollar is, uh, the Fed is going to, you know, printing a lot of money to save the, save the country, okay? But uh, the stocks, the value of the stocks is actually uh, over, overestimated, okay? So the whole rally of this move, okay, that it comes to the end and probably we can find our 618 level to sell the S&P, okay? And you may be, are in, impressed of the second floor, okay? So what I'm wondering is a lot of people are still buying the stocks at a very high place, and what happened if the price do give our 618, you know, pull back to 271.8, okay? So now, if I were you, I will find any bearish patterns to for me to capture the, the shot, okay? Because my, my stop loss would be very easy to set, it's just above the previous high, but then my target can easily go to uh, 2718. Okay, so this actually will give me, give me a very nice risk and reward. Okay, but, do, but uh, we don't want to sell right now because you can see this, this crash happened. Okay, now the price is coming back too fast. Okay, our uh, well. I, I will pre, uh, I will probably wait for three four sixty six. Okay, I will wait for this level to to short S and P. Yeah, somewhere here, somewhere here, like three four seventy sixty six. Okay, because if you look left. Yeah, there are some major resistance from here. Okay, uh, yeah, sell high. Just watch, just watch the S and P. If it's come to here. Yeah, took a sell and aim for a big drop. Head and shoulder also forming. Uh, you mean bullish or bearish? If you're talking bullish, then you are, you are estimate the market to be something like this, right? Do you think so? That is this kind of a head and shoulder? Uh, well, maybe, maybe you're right. So the next line you have to watch, okay? The next line is at uh, 3446, okay? So if you see the price break this level, okay, then it's a hand and shoulder. If not, yeah, just uh, still a major resistance zone, okay? Because um, you can tell this candle, okay? Why, why the S&P just to crash like this? What happened, okay? Does this mean people are selling from 3426 level? Okay, or maybe there's another rally, okay, to trying to trap a lot of an, another 
way for, of people to buy of the SMP at this level and to sell it. Okay, so yeah, you have to keep an eye on it. Okay, so another fake out, okay, a fake move to the upside and trying to trap the people who buy the breakout and then on the turn back the seller. Okay, from three four sixty six. Clear, right? Okay. All right, that's very good. Um, let's try the Dow Jones. Dow Jones has uh, also uh, doing quite well of the recent rally, okay, but do not chase the high. If you want to buy, wait for the pullback, wait for the pullback to 2778, and uh, then another rally may come in. Uh, for daily chart, I will still wait for the 600 level to sell the Dow Jones. Okay, I will wait for, oh yeah, 620 just comes, okay, to a YA9. And, yeah. so if the price cannot break this level, uh, you can you can consider sell. But uh, sell the higher, you know, 2875 would be an even better choice. Uh, in our chart, what we can find is here, okay. We do find the supply zone of this, okay, at 29K. Okay, and you measure the Fibonacci retracement. The 86 level is at a 28889. Okay, so I will put a down mark. I will mark here. Okay, maybe the best place to sell the Dow Jones is at this level. All right. Good. Uh, I don't know the, let's take a look at our silver. Uh, silver sideway, no much movement, but it's still silver trendy level looks like uh, it's supported at here, trendy level. So as far as the silver is above trendy, uh, you can still consider this as a bullish, okay? But it's uh, very hard to you to get your entry with this kind of uh, behavior. Uh, yeah, maybe I will put a buy limit at 20.50. Uh, maybe I wait for the, another sell and then touch and go. Okay. In forward chart, uh, the silver has uh, done the same performance with gold. Okay, yeah. So our strong rally, uh, another pullback. Okay, and then maybe you can consider to buy another rally to twenty six point fifty. Okay, so you can use twenty six point fifty as your long target. Okay, for for these uh, long positions. Okay. Yeah. Well, the Ethereum, mm -hmm. Ethereum uh, also in a consolidation. Okay, the key support is from 300 level, so you can still consider to buy the Ethereum at uh, this level. Try to buy and aim for 4, 450. Okay, this could be a good place. Okay, after triangle consolidation, and the, the Ethereum will go up. Any anything else? Okay, let's check some stocks. Oh, Tesla. Okay, Tesla. Wow, still very strong, but it's too high to chase. Okay, I will wait for the trend line. I wait for this line. Okay, maybe uh, wait for pullback to about 385 level. And I'm just going to capture this second rally of this um, the stocks of Tesla. Okay, so 385. Could be a good place for you guys to buy and aim for six seventy five. Yeah, about one hundred dollar difference. Okay, of this trading plan. Okay, trying to buy from here and took profit off here. Lag a lot. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe it's, uh, the, there is a little bit of lagging, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, because we are showing the daily charts and four hour charts. Yeah, you can just still understand what I'm saying from the charting. Yeah, we're not doing the kind of a news event. Uh, you, we need a fast speed. We need you know, no no latency. Okay, so Tesla, three seventy five. Remember, Apple. Okay, Apple. Yeah, I will wait for the gap to buy. On a 100, okay, yeah. Apple, good to buy from 100 and then 130. 
Oh yeah, and uh, I will uh, highlight this company, which is uh, the Xiaopeng. The Xiaopeng company is an electricity cars company manufacturer, which just listed in the stocks of USA, and the price is uh, sustained, uh, being stabilized from 17 to 18 level. And personally, I feel it actually, uh, you'll find some support from here, and the next target will be about 24 or even higher. This is new, very new stocks, okay? And I can tell you the, the sales uh, figure of the cars that they manufactured is getting better and better every month. Because uh, I, I bought the car from this company, and I feel uh, the car is really very, very, very uh, intelligent, and uh, it's uh, very uh, fast. Uh, in terms of uh, the speed, the, the acceleration, okay, it is also very safe, uh, yeah, to drive with this car. So the SP, X, XPEV will be, maybe will be the next Tesla in China. Yeah, so that's how, how I define this company. Okay, so if you have some interest, you can, yeah, consider of, of this stuff. Could you talk about gold again? You missed it, sure. Okay, for the gold, uh, for our chart, I would just wait for the price to come back to 187.8. Uh, focus on this level, this neckline, okay? This is double top, uh, double bottoms, neckline is 187.8. And a good price action shows inside the bar's comments, okay? Maybe another pin bar or maybe engulfing. Yeah, so just make use of this uh, place for you to put your alarm, okay? Trying to buy from here, and then we can actually have another rally, okay? Uh, the gold target will be 1950, okay? Wait for this place to be touched, and trying to earn some money off this move. So do you understand what I'm talking? Yep. Okay, the goal, find the second test of this 618 level, okay? Because we can see the 618 is here. Okay, 1876.50. Okay, buy from here. Buy from here. And aim 1921 and 1950. A50, please. Why? Okay, so this is uh, the A50. Okay. So you can see the China A50 has a fine support from 14800. Okay, and you can consider this as a flag patterns if you want. Okay, so uh, it will actually eventually break out. Okay, up consolidation, consolidation, okay. and then. Oh, okay. so still bullish. I'm still bullish on the China stocks. Yeah. All right. So yeah, the China 50 have a brilliant future in the next uh, few months. Yeah. Because if you look at the Shanghai Composites, you can find, yeah, the support is uh, being tested very well. Okay, and after the National days, uh, there'll be some good data, the economic data of China, uh, with this like, uh, you know, the tourism data, the cinemas data, the uh, PMI. Okay, yeah, that's uh, with no doubt China is the uh, the first country that have been you know nearly ninety nine percent recovered from the coronavirus in terms of the industries, the supply, and the, yeah, the commercial, the uh, agriculture, okay? China has been recovered very fast. So the Q3 data will be good, I believe. Natural gas, okay. So natural gas will be the last product we'll cover for today. Okay, natural gas, you can see uh, 
It's a good product to trade, the trend. Okay, downside move. First bottom, second bottom, going up, okay. You can use a 2618 trade of this pair and you buy from 1.98 level here. It's a very good place for you to buy. Okay, so it's double bottoms followed by 618 retracement. And now I think the price is going to uh, move up all the way to 400, well, $4 maybe, yeah. Have some potential to move to four. So it's uh, your job to find me in any bullish patterns to took the next wave of natural gas. Yeah. All right. And for the Hang Seng, if you trade Hong Kong stocks, okay, Hang Seng is really doing well. Uh, this is the first rally. This is a correction. The six one eight just happened. Okay, so I want to emphasize that the Hang Seng is okay to buy from two, two, three, 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 four. Okay, you can aim for another rally of the Hang Seng Dax. Okay, to twenty eight thousand maybe. Yep. This could be a great place for you to buy the Hong Kong shares. Uh, which I mentioned last time, which uh, is this uh, Xiaomi. Okay. Xiaomi is still a good company. Okay, you can see the gap is uh, filled. The gap at the uh, trendy is filled, so you can still consider to buy Xiaomi. Okay, it's a good place for you to buy because it may have another rally to break new high. Okay, because uh, Xiaomi will be the number one brand in the domestic, uh, sorry, in the uh, AI family electronic products. Okay. They have the Xiaomi phones, Xiaomi fans, Xiaomi band, Xiaomi refrigerator, Xiaomi wash machine, okay, whatever. So any home related device that Xiaomi can produce and the price is really low and the quality is really high and it's, it's, <coughs> it's AI control, okay. So yeah, if you want to be value invest investors and you want to find a good company to invest with, <clears throat> okay, one A one zero Hong Kong will be a good choice for you guys. Okay. All right. So I think that's all for today. Yeah. Thanks for coming, and we have covered all the markets. Yeah, it's really a good feeling to share my thoughts and my my. Uh, trading strategies with you guys, okay? So plan your trade and trade your plan, okay? Try to earn some money from the market, okay? Keep your entry, stop loss, and the target clean and tidy before you are really opening the trade, okay? Do not risk more than 2%, all right? So the directions and the key point I have already uh, set for you guys, okay? If you're not, uh, if you come late or if you are, are you feel that you're you're afraid of uh, forgetting some of the important information. Uh, you can go to youtube.com, right? Slash project, and you can find the recordings. Okay, I will upload uh, I will upload the today's recordings to YouTube. Okay. All right. Yeah. Last but not least, okay. If you want to learn from me, if you want, if you want to trade, uh, become a very good trader. Okay, you can join my course. Okay, uh, from harmonicasia.com, and uh, uh, you can join my students group to enjoy the daily discussion of their pairs. And I also I will actually highlight some of the good trade, good trades. Okay, for you guys. Okay, yeah. So always remember, okay, trading is a difficult game. You have to master the rules and the disciplines of the games before you can make some money okay if you're just gambling if you're just guessing if you're just uh, you know trades by gut feeling you're actually losing your money all right all right that's all for today thanks for coming see you next time see you next time bye bye